Right, Amanda, you've been technical director for the Bells for a few months now. Uh, how have you settled into that role? Um, yeah, really well. It's been um, an interesting and difficult three months given the current environment and circumstances, but um, and a bit, a bit of a learning curve um, moving into that new role, but so far so good. Um, can you tell a little bit about your role outside the Bells and yeah. uh, with the FA? So my day job, I work for the FA as a regional PE officer. Um, as part of that job, I go in and support schools and the growth and the delivery of football in schools uh, for the girls and for the boys and help support c- uh, clubs and their coaches in their delivery in schools as well. Um, you mentioned that your first few months have been a bit different. The whole yep. world has changed uh, over this summer. Absolutely. How, how has it affected your transition into this role? Um, it, like I said, it has been different. I think there's been a lot more paperwork, risk assessments than previously. Uh, but I feel we've um, transitioned really well and we've been on top of it from the start. So the girls were back in nice and early. Despite all the setbacks, they've been back in pre-season now for eight weeks, training, playing games. So it's been a hard few months but we've been on top of it and we've managed to get the best out of the bad situation really. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what a technical director does at Nantes. So my main role um, is on the grass supporting the coaches um, in their development of the girls and the individual players so anything that's uh, technical based for the girls for playing is sort of my remit and supporting the coaches in those individual development plans for the players to try and get the very best out of the girls while they're with us. Uh, what are the aims for the RTC? So the big aim of the RTC is to produce future England players. That is the, the role of the 32 that we have in the country. So we are a direct feed-in um, into that elite pathway. So it's a step up from the grassroots football to try and get the talented girls in the area better level of coaching, more development opportunities and playing players of a similar standard to hopefully feed into you know the young lionesses as they move forward in their journey. Um, could you tell us about some of the success stories we've had with the RTC? Yeah, time? it's been so the RTC has been around for four years now, I think, um, and over those four years we've brought through quite a few players. Um, more recently, we've had uh, players representing England, we've had players that have moved on from us to compete in Tier 3, Tier 4, uh, some at Tier 2. Uh, so there's been a real journey and a pathway from those girls from when we've had them in at 11 years old all the way through to them leaving at 16, and there's been some really positive success stories in there. Ultimately, we want them to represent England. We know that doesn't happen for every girl and for every player, but we just want to make sure that they get into the very best environment and leaving us at 16 as they possibly can. Um, and for people who are watching who are for young daughters or the young yep. girls who are watching themselves, uh, how do they get involved? So we always accept talented players. We're always on the lookout for talented players who want to join us. If you're interested, come and contact us. Come contact the club manager, Chantal Hay, um, and we'll give you some more information about it. Every season we have open trials. That's everyone's um, opportunity to come in, see what we're about and what we do. Um, but we're always on the lookout. We're always looking to see and try and develop players in the local area.